Right, at this ECA boiler to sort out a hot water issue. Boiler's less than a year old. That's the new plate. That's the old plate. Not a problem with the boiler. Problem with the installation. It's not been flushed properly. System's not been cleaned. And that's why we've got all that crap inside blocking the plate up. Right, to take the plate out on this, it's fairly straightforward. It's difficult to slide it out from the side because it's too big to go in between the AAV and the expansion vessel bracket there. So what I've had to do here is you've got your gas pipe connection off the top of the gas valve, undo that nut. That's just on a clip so you can swing that out the way. You've got this silencer, which is held on by one screw uh, at the back there. So pop the silencer out and then you can move the plate up, tilt it up and then bring it out like that. I'll see if I can get a video of me putting it back in so you get an idea. Right, I'll try and do this one hand. So that's a new plate pointing up. So the way I'm putting it in, sliding it in face up, get it in the back. And then from there, you just turn it down. And then you just sits back there. So now I'm going to need two hands because that would then line up there, pop it in. You've got your two four mil Allen key screws, get that tight. Put the gas connection back on, put the silencer back on, and then retest it. Right, plates in. Just want to show you the left hand side, it's actually right behind the condensate strap. So you can either pop the condensate strap out or get a ball end hex key. So you can get that into there. And then from, you can actually tighten it at an angle as well. So that should. There you go, that's nice and tight now. Now the silencer. Slides in from the side like that. Like that. I'll just pop in a minute. I'll get it. That will pop into there. Like so. Line that bottom bit up with the screw hole there. And I'll just pop the screw in.